Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the mounting flange kit components for this KitchenAid garbage disposer, you will need a 3 8 inch nut driver and a flathead screwdriver. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the unit's power cord. If there is not enough slack, detach the dishwasher's drain hose from the disposer inlet port, if applicable. Using the 3 8 inch nut driver or the flathead screwdriver, unthread the two mounting screws, securing the tailpipe flange to the disposer. Now rotate the lock ring counterclockwise to release the disposer from the sink. With the disposer uninstalled, pull off the splash guard and remove the old lock ring. Next, use the flathead screwdriver to loosen the three screws, securing the mounting bracket to the strainer flange. With the screws loosened, lift the bracket up and use the screwdriver to pry the mounting ring free of the strainer flange to release the mounting bracket components. You can remove the old strainer flange as well. To prepare the new mounting flange kit components for installation, first rotate the lock ring to remove. Then loosen the three screws. Remove the mounting ring to fully detach the components. When installing the new strainer flange, you can use plumber's putty to help seal it. Or you can align an upper sink flange seal. Insert the strainer flange into the sink opening. Align the flange mounting plate on the bracket, followed by the lower sink flange seal. Align the mounting ring on the bottom, then holding the components together, position them on the bottom of the strainer flange. Push the bracket up while pushing down on the strainer flange, then snap the mounting ring into place in the strainer flange groove. With the rings secured, tighten all three screws. If you use plumber's putty to seal the strainer flange, you'll need to clean off any excess putty. Position the new lock ring on the disposer, then reinstall the splash guard. Reinstall the disposer by positioning it in the mounting bracket, making sure the disposer's outlet port is aligned with the tailpipe. Confirm the tailpipe gasket is in place on the outlet port. Then position the tailpipe flange with the port and thread the two screws to secure. Now fully rotate the disposer lock ring clockwise until it locks into place. If applicable, reattach the dishwasher's drain hose to the inlet port. Plug the power cord back in and the garbage disposer should be ready for use.